Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Zangiri, and today I got a new video for you guys. And basically, today we're gonna be installing two extensions for VS Code that's gonna make our development environment so much easier in terms of WordPress. All right, let's get to it. All right, so let's go to the extensions tab. All right, that's gonna be on the left. You can just press Control Shift X if you'd like. Search in the extensions PHP. And in the second result or the third result, it's going to be a elephant logo. Just make sure to install that extension. It's called PHP IntelliFence. And just press on that gear icon and then go to extension settings. Make sure to scroll down and you're going to find something called stubs. All right, here it is. And what this does is basically it configures stub files for PHP files and all extensions basically for them to be formatting the built-in text and symbols so we can just add in the item and just go into wordpress there it is just make sure to press ok i already have that added so i'm not going to do that again and then let's say for example i want to format this all right so let's close this let's press Control. A, if you want to do it by the shortcut, just control shift and then P, that's going to open this menu. Just search format document and then format document, right? Let's say you want to do it from the GUI interface. Just press view and then command palette and then again, search format document and format document. But I find the... Uh, short code so much easier right so control a and then control shift p and then select format document all right the second extension that we have for today is something that's probably one of the best tools i've found on visual studio code extensions which is called wordpress snippets all right so just make sure to install this wordpress snippets and then let's try it all right so open up a php tag like i did over here let's say i don't know what wordpress die means so i can just Search that kills WordPress execution and displays HTML page with an error message. So this is kind of like die in PHP, if you know that. And basically what this extension does, it helps us not keep on going to the WordPress website and searching for this, you know, a long time for you to just go into each and every function in the developer handbook by WordPress. You can just use something like this to get like for example template directory and so on and so forth right there are a lot more extensions for wordpress but these are the two that i use that help me a lot in my development environment let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment and in the next videos we're going to be basically testing out something called the unit tests which is going to be helping us out in terms of actually publishing a theme on wordpress dot com or envato for example all right so i make examples for that and i'll see you guys in the next video this was angry with you and peace